Greetings. My name is Muzumoni Lewang. The study is titled First Principle Study of Monocyte Systems. That is supervised by RGD Alim, Arkun, P. Ingwebe, and H.R. Chaoke. Monocyte is an important mineral in the mining industry and it contains non travel amount of rare earth elements, thorium and uranium. It has an interesting and complex structure due to its chemical formula. So this chemical formula, it suggests that it can exist in a phosphate or a silicate form. So the main interest in this mineral is to extract the rare earth elements, thorium and uranium from it. These basic elements are used in applications such as catalysis, metallurgy, glass and magnetic sector. But the problem is that monocyte is very inert. So the processes used to extract these basic elements are highly complicated and often costly. So hence, we use computational modeling to assist in understanding how we could best extract these rare earth elements by looking into its structural behavior of monocyte systems. So in this study, first principle calculations uh, employing DFT is used to investigate the stability of monocyte systems. So the mineral can be used in a wide variety of applications as an ore metal of rare earth elements and thorium. So for example, neodymium has essential ingredient in permanent magnets, which are used in a wind turbine to produce electricity. While thorium is for fuel cycle due to its ability to produce electricity in the nuclear generation. So figure one, Pre, uh, represent the optimized primitive cells of monocyte systems together with the space group and the poison sample of MP24, which is monoclinic primitive cell containing 24 atoms. So, methodology calculations were performed using VASP code based on the DFT. Exchange correlation interaction was evaluated with the functional GGA of PBE, where the cut of energy was 600 EV. And 12 by 11 by 13 were the K-mesh values chosen for all monocyte systems. So properties such as structural, thermodynamic, and elastic were determined. Table 1 lists the calculated and experimental lattice parameters as well as the heat of formation. Lattice parameters are in good um, agreement with uh, the experimental values. So the heat of formation was estimated by the total energy of the compound minus the sum of the product of the individual total energy of each element in the compound. So because PRPO4 has more negative value of heat of formation, thus indicate that it is the most stable structure. So figure 2 presents the elastic constant and elastic shear modulus of monocyte st structures. So elastic constant are essential for determining the mechanical properties that define mechanical stability of compounds. So in this study, the monocyte systems, they are mechanically unstable since they denote a negative value of C35, um, which suggests that the monoclinic uh, stability criteria is not satisfied at this point. So on elastic moduli, which is presented um, with the table, uh, two, NDPO4 has a large value of bulk, share, and yang modulus, indicating that it is hard with a high degree of stiffness and not easily compressed than others. So monocyte systems signify the ductile behavior due to their volumes being greater than 1.75 and 0.26 for pore and poison ratios respectively. So in conclusion, the first principle calculations was used to investigate the stability of monocyte systems. Lattice parameters agree with experimental values within uh, 5%. The monocyte uh, systems are mechanically unstable and resulted in a ductile behavior. So these findings, they provide an understanding of monocyte structure that may be helpful to the development of the extraction processes of rare earth elements, thorium and uranium. So I would like to acknowledge CHPC, NEXA and the University of Limpopo for the opportunity granted. Thank you.